Here are six easy steps to set up high fall on your mix bus. Let's go. The first thing I'm gonna do is use the default Ryan Schwab preset. I'm gonna to go to a moderately loud part of the song and I'm gonna control click or right click the crossover flag and figure out what frequencies I wanna isolate. I isolated 4.2K and up, so the processor is going to work from there all the way to 20K. And now I'm going to set the threshold. So what I'm doing is setting it so that first 0 dB bulb is pulsing, but it's not doing heavy compression. It's just subtly gliding over the high frequencies. All right, so I have a moderate amount of compression happening on a balanced part of the record. Next thing I'm going to do is set my timings. Right now it's set to slow, but I'm going to see if fast works better. What fast will do is make it jump down on transients a little more. Let's listen. Now you can see the gain reduction bulbs moving a little bit faster, and I like that. Step four is moving on to the channel link setting, and what we're gonna do is move between completely unlinked and completely linked, and hear how it affects the stereo imaging. So you can hear how when it's unlinked, it's doing a little bit more stereo field manipulation. Let's solo the gain reduction and hear how that affects the stereo imaging. So this song isn't particularly wide, but you can hear how the gain reduction is jumping down more on individual channels when the gain reduction is completely unlinked. Now for step five, we're gonna adjust the trim. The trim is essentially makeup gain, but it goes in the positive direction and the negative direction. So if we're dealing with a bright song, we can use the makeup gain in the negative direction, or if we're dealing with a dark song, we can use the makeup gain in the positive direction, and we can still use the right amount of high frequency acceleration limiting on the production. Let's listen. Now you can see this first bulb is almost always pulsing. That means it's always doing about a half a dB or one dB of gain reduction because the acceleration limiting is extremely slow at that moment. So knowing that, if we're doing a half a dB or so of gain reduction, we're gonna wanna do a half a dB or so of makeup gain to compensate. Now for step six, we're gonna see if we need to use the parallel limiter. The parallel limiter is a separate channel that's band isolated and getting blended in from the bottom up like a mix fader in your DAW. What we can do is right click to solo that fader to hear how that signal contributes to the whole mix. Let's blend it in, solo it, and see what it's doing. Now, if we want to increase the compression to make that parallel limiter even more aggressive, we can just push up the dynamics knob here and it'll get more and more compressed, but maintain the level of the signal. Now let's listen to how high fall sounds on the rest of the song. Now 
aesthetic, melanin popping Robo key, bo key, bo rocky Bum bum sound, the sweet melody I try rap down and sing symphony Till one but I hit the note with paper Make a climb down with the leaf it it almost sounds invisible, but it's doing a lot of gain reduction. It's doing a lot of transient shaping to the top end. Overall, it's just making it seem more classy, more clean, and a little bit more bright. That's high fall.